So my wife, she's got celiac disease, uh, right? So celiac is where you can't have gluten. And think people don't realize how bad this is, right? Because the gluten <laughs> triggers the immune system to come attack the intestines. Meanwhile, leaves your body open to anything, flu, croup, whatever anybody's got around you, boom, you're getting it, right? So because she wasn't diagnosed you know, for many years of her life, she was what, 35 when she was diagnosed, 36, and, and she's got, most of her hearing is gone, her eyesight is really bad, and she's got vitiligo, she's got a lot of things going on, you know, she, she's my, she's a rescue, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> We said that to, to some nurse that we're about to do this test, and they're like, hey, we're going to take her back there. She'll need to leave her contacts and, and her hearing aids here, and, and you'll have to stay here. I'm like, I need to be with her because she's going to feel real vulnerable not knowing what's going on. I'm like, oh, you need to stay here because of HIPAA regulations. I'm like, what do you know about my sister that I don't know? <laughs> So I told her, and I said, she's a rescue. And that lady was about to hit me with that clipboard, man. <laughs> and my wife, she cuddles up my arm. She goes, but he gave me a forever home. <laughs> That's what brothers do. <laughs> and she gets mad because we don't go on dates, right? And like, we never go on a date. Don't you love me anymore? Like, no, I just think it's against the law. <laughs> Thank you. Let's wait till the kids are grown before we can, you know. So, and, and, and the kids, you know, we can never find a babysitter we trust. Do you trust babysitters these days? They're crazy. I don't know these people, so I don't, we don't do anything. But then we found, we like to do the escape room uh, challenges and stuff for our date nights. And, and the kids really like the idea, so we decided to do escape room home edition. <laughs> so we just lock him in the closet and we go on a date. <laughs> Dinner, movie, some coffee afterwards. Come back, pop that door open, the little timer on the door is like 7.59, 59. He's like pushing on it the whole time. I was like, look at that, you did it. He goes, I did, <laughs> oh, look at that. I didn't think I was gonna make it. I really didn't. <laughs> I tried every clue to turn that knob out about 3,000 times. It just didn't work. I was like, did you find the water bottle? He goes, I did. It's like, oh, cool, because that was a secret. And he was like, yeah, it was in that third shoe box on the right. I said, well, fantastic. You get to level two. This is great. Because <sighs> next weekend, we're going skiing. <laughs> we'll set that timer to 72 hours. You're going to have fun. <laughs> You're going to have a good time. So we learned that our oldest child, he's basically our demo unit. He just, <laughs> right? You're gonna mess up with him no matter what. So whatever we do with him, it's just, you know, we, we don't do with the second child. So, <laughs> but even when he's 40, you know, and I'm, I'm still gonna, it's still gonna be a first time experience with me and I'm gonna steer him the wrong way, take notes, and then do the right one by the other kid. <laughs> so that's just how it's gonna be, man, it is. When, when he was tiny, um, we were at a Chinese restaurant. This, this lady that owned it loved his eyes. Just, oh, I'd love to look at your baby's eyes. You're just so beautiful, right? And so she, she would do that every single time. And we're paying for dinner. My wife has already gone to go change my child. You know, because that thing happens, right? <laughs> and she goes, well, you can't pay till I see the baby. Again, instantly I realize this is another opportunity. <laughs> and so she runs around the, the counter and she flips open the, tra the travel system and she sees no baby. Where's the baby? I'm like, well, oh. <laughs> I don't know. I guess he's gone. And so she stops everything. Like, Where's the baby? We're looking for the baby. <laughs> looking under the tables and stuff. It's crazy. <laughs> like, Check the kitchen. He's like a cat. <laughs> My child turned into General So Chicken, but she would never come back. So we left. And the next time we came back, she goes, oh, hello, Mr. Funny Man. <laughs> You sure you want your heel? <laughs> like, yeah, let's take that challenge. Let's see what we can do. Let's do I deserve that. I deserve that. We should do that. And my little one, he's so tiny. Oh my goodness. I don't understand how he's my child. I lose him all the time. 
Right, so like we'll be a hot summer day in a zoo, buying some ice cream, and all of a sudden, <laughs> gone. And I freak out, and I start crying, my mascara starts running. <laughs> And I'm waddling, waddling, you know, looking in every direction, like, where's my kid? Where's my kid? And the zookeeper comes up. She's like, what's going on? I said, I lost my child. And I'm describing what he looks like. And she finishes me. She goes, look, is that him right behind you? <laughs> <laughs> well, look at that. <laughs> He's in my blind spot. <laughs> When you get worried, you can't look past the wing, right? He's just, what are you doing back there, bud? He's like, Daddy, don't move. You're the only shade I could find. <laughs> hey, did you know that Dry Bar Comedy has their own app? Download it right now to watch, save, and share clips, and watch my whole special.